Welcome back everyone. We've managed to get live at the Comfort Inn Hotel in Sunderland. Unfortunately we couldn't get a live back down in Gateshead at the Embassy, Embassy Hotel. Yeah, you see the three NHS staff, which is not their fault, so I tried not to get their faces on film. Three members of staff going out to the Migrant Hotel. So here we are guys, this is the back of the, well this is the back of the Comfort Inn Hotel. If anyone local to Sunderland, I don't know if you know they're in the Comfort Inn Hotel. It is actually permanently closed which is a good indication. Hi Amanda, hi Faith, hi Dave. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Please like and share these. We must have visited now over 200 migrant hotels. So look, there we go guys. Comfort Hotel. I'm not going to try and get over there. Come on, let's go in the proper way so we don't look like hooligans. Hi, Mike. Hi, Christian. Hi, Scouse Hobie. Visiting our never ending list of migrant hotels today. Hi Stuart. Okay, please like and share this. We have another hotel to go to within the vicinity. I feel, um, I, don't, I think this might have been out in the local newspapers. Here we go, a new arrival in flip-flops because Care for Calais not bought him any trainers yet. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I'm a reporter and I just wanted to know how many migrants are in this hotel. That's very polite of you. I know. Not the rude at these migrant hotels. So, so rude. Are you staying in this hotel here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been in the country? I don't speak English. You don't speak English? Yeah. But you can say say that so you must speak a little bit of English. I'm just looking at I'm just looking at you. Have you just come over and you haven't got no shoes? I'm just walking, so Do you know um I I've, I've been told that the, the, the UK government give you twenty cigarettes, one packet a day, is that correct? Sorry. Do you you know you cigarettes you smoke? Yeah? Who pays for them? Not you. No, no, no. I thought so. Mm. Yeah, I've just been told by if it wasn't seen on my last um live, I've had a, a local guy that was a kitchen manager at the Garforth Holiday Inn and he's had to leave because he was absolutely disgusted that he was giving £10,000 a week to buy them food, chocolate, pop and they were the Afghans that had got lots of money they were wearing Rolexes I see profile security, is this hotel full of migrants sir? Oh we have a lady security there Would you like to speak to us? Would you like to speak to us about the migrants in this hotel please? Oh, is he ringing the police in the background? Lovely, nice English traitor. Oh, no. And they're laughing behind there. They will be laughing on the other sides of their faces when they know that they're on YouTube. This profile security, everyone, must have a right contract on all these migrant hotels. 
It's nearly always pro for security. Amy says, cleaner, watch, don't be in the room on your own, you know, things happen. <laughs> it's terrible. Like I say, we've visited over 200. Well, someone's just stuck a tongue out of me and then um, put like a gesture, you know, like a child would do. But mmm, lots of these hotels that people don't know about seem to seem to not have um, certain members of staff in. But yeah, the pro for security, the guy that I've just spoke to, we know that the arrows and migrants because it's perma permanently closed is also the other one that we will be going to. Not far from here. Hello, hello, hello. I just want to thank everyone who is um, on here today and who's been supporting me over these last uh, few days. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it and I can really feel the love. And I will see you all in Rotherham on Saturday and the Holiday Inn in Manvers. Oh, I've even got a... I thought something like volleyball, is it not? Is it badminton? It could that? be either. Mm. So there, there we go, tucked away on an industrial estate. Oh. He's not taking a picture of my no, car, I think is he? I think that it's mine. Yeah. Pro for security, yeah. big on the migrant security. Wave. You're live on YouTube. Can I uh, just see your badge if you're security? Can you show me your SIA badge, please? Can you show me if you know if you're taking pictures of me? I want to know. I want to know what sort of secure. I want to know what sort of security you are. If you're taking pictures of me, yeah. You don't take pictures of me. It's all right there for them, isn't it? No bikes allowed in the hotel at any time. So where are they putting the bikes? This is a different building. Oh, Carl, that's where we've just been round there, isn't it? Yeah, more traitors taking government backhanders when they can't house our homeless today. There we go. Comfort Hotel, Sunderland. Another hotel where all the windows are open. So the central eating is on full. Did you see the guy earlier in his flip-flops? Our government are making a fool out of us, everyone. Us concerned parents, not far-right people. It's an absolute disgrace. So these are those probably at work as well, aren't they? Look. Dover 4th of March, yeah, Rotherham, Saturday, 2 p.m., Manvers Hotel, Skegness, 25th of February, starting the march at the train station at 11 a.m. I hear as well through GB News last night that uh, the residents of Newquay are coming out. I believe that's the 25th, if I can have that confirming. And... Yeah, apparently their councillor or MP, whoever he is, um, we've called them far right, these concerned parents. They're an absolute disgrace to society. Not one of them will have to go through what an average, general, working class person has to. It's just appalling. 
Thanks guys, the more we can get to these demonstrations, um, you know we always have peaceful demonstrations, but unfortunately um, the violent thugs um, turn up at these demonstrations and I believe that there's quite a lot of them that are going to be bust in on Saturday from Sheffield by the lovely Care for Calais that you should think that are lovely people. They're traffickers themselves. They are. Right guys, I'm going to say good afternoon from me and Bulldog at the Comfort Hotel in Sunderland and we will be back shortly with another hotel. Please like and share this for awareness. Good afternoon from Yorkshire Rose and Bulldog.